Hello, Autobots and Decepticons. I am your host, Frosty Coffee, giving you guys the latest and greatest news on the highly anticipated upcoming game, Transformers Online by Certain Affinity. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have some pretty interesting insider information to share with you guys today. So let's check out these juicy details. <music> If you're like me, coming from the era of Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, Transformers War for Cybertron, Fall of Cybertron, and the many games after, you'll know that many of us are desperately waiting for a brand new Transformers game to just sweep us off of our feet. Take us by surprise like High Moon Studios did with their very first game. However, as soon as we heard that every single Transformers game was going to be shut down server-wise, it became a shot to the heart for many fans, myself included. We all wait and hope for the next generation of Transformers game or games to take us by surprise. So what is it that makes the Transformers games so much fun? But first, let me tell you about today's sponsor. Transformers Online Community Discord. Chat among gamers from PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. Our Discord is not only a dedicated community Discord for the upcoming game Transformers Online, but it also to plan a home for gamers across the many different generations of Transformers games. Share your best moments and memories with others playing from Revenge of the Fallen, War for Cybertron, Fall of Cybertron, and the many more games from the past. In this Discord, we have many different community chat rooms and voice chats, allowing players to connect and discuss about various topics as we wait for the upcoming game, Transformers Online. Here you will receive up-to-date Transformers Online news and updates as they come out. If this interests you, please take some time and join us from the link in the description below. So what makes the Transformers games so impactful? While it is nostalgia, memories, the storyline, or simply being able to customize your very own Transformers character. I decided to ask the Transformers Online Community Discord for this answer. Let's check it out. So just reading off of here on the Discord, uh, Bumblebee, one of the first people that responded, had to say this. The characters and rich lore of the franchise. The gameplay mechanics are very important as well. Transformer Transformation should be fluid and complement combat slash traversal equally. Grimlock had to agree with the gameplay mechanics. Revenge as well, saying the same thing. And then we had a response from Son of Jazz, which was very lengthy. So I'm just gonna read it out here. What makes a TF game fun, in my opinion, is the gameplay mechanics, like many others have said. Typically in Transformers games, it's your usual transform, shoot, sometimes melee, repeat, but as of late, it, w it when it came to Fall of Cybertron, there was a skill cap with movement and aim. Sure, some classes were clearly stronger than others, but that's where the skill comes in. How well your movement is in combat, and personally, he says, I hope that Transformers Online has a huge skill cap when it comes to class movement, like Fall of Cybertron. Guns, and he refers to like bullet tra travel distance, gun types with clear strengths and weaknesses, so that there is no, this gun is better than the other one, blah, blah, blah. And especially character abilities. Like say, for example, the Seekers have certain abilities and Scouts have some use, good, uh, some good use of movement and reaction time to dodge or punish the enemy. Also, since the game is gonna be a free to play live service, we can expect balance patches to make the game fun and interesting for everyone. He's saying that not to have five host migrations in every game. For those that, have, that remember, Fall of Cybertron had many host migrations, and we don't know why they decided to go to that specific type of route instead of having everything server side, uh, per se, instead of host specific for each match. I don't know why they did that exactly. While it did fix some connection issues from War for Cybertron, um, I feel like the connection could have been a lot better handled in terms of Fall of Cybertron specifically, because with Fall of Cybertron, uh, it got kind of shaky when it started to rely on other people specifically for a connection. Um, and then he says, but usually it all boils down to what the game was made for. 
it looks like it will be a multiplayer based game so that will more than likely be the focus he says a lot of that i do agree with um specifically about uh the gameplay mechanics and especially the the skill level cap because i feel like if you have a specific class or uh for example in the previous games we had tank and uh like seeker um the health bars were different and although some had an advantage over the others I, it really did come down to skill at times and uh being able to traversely um maneuver around specific places while some people were on the ground some people were in the skies and uh that sort of thing uh, but beyond that, uh, yeah, like I, I really do hope there's a skill cap and specific uh, stat allocation and stuff like that as to what I think what Jazz is trying to say here. Um, so it'd be very interesting to have specific caps on specific abilities and guns and stuff like that so that it really uh, balanced things out and especially to have those balanced patches because uh, games like Overwatch are constantly doing um, balanced patches and things like that, which is really cool. Um, one thing I have a bit of an issue with uh, in terms of Overwatch is some of the maps are like really, really small and it sucks. Um, whereas I wish they were a lot like Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, of course, graphical upscale and stuff like that, where we had big, big maps to traverse. Uh, if it was almost like an open world almost to have a big map, but with a lot more players, that'd be really interesting. We have the capabilities now today uh, with the next generation of consoles and stuff like that. So that'd be really awesome. And uh, I could probably talk about this much more in, in, in a separate video completely to go into further detail, but let's continue on. Um, for me personally, what I wrote down here is, I, like many others within the Transformers community Discord, I also agree with the fact that gameplay is everything. Jazz summarized it very well with having balance to everything. In the past for me, I enjoyed being able to play as iconic characters. However, some ended up being a bit more overpowered compared to others while playing games like Revenge of the Fallen. But when you came across being able to build and customize your own Transformers character in multiplayer, it, it becomes a completely different ballgame. The creativity and decision making becomes a dream come true. That's what Transformers War for Cybertron and Fall of Cybertron was to me personally. Being able to customize and play as my own personal Transformers character. Being able to upgrade weapons and abilities as we see fit. Uh, like an RPG, we can allocate our stats without being able to be completely overpowered. Now, while that wasn't in the previous games per se, it had some kind of stat allocation in a certain way by being able to specifically choose your guns and abilities as J Jazz said previously. Uh, what I enjoyed the most was being able to jump into a PvP match and fight as an Autobot or Decepticon, wage war, play alongside friends, or even have clan or guild battles against others in game. It was a competitive and entertaining. It was competitive and entertaining being able to play alongside others for an objective game mode. Uh, the back and forth action of fighting to plant the bomb, watching everyone explode into pieces, or fighting to bring the flag from one end of the map to the end of the, uh, the other end of the map was so much fun to me. Right down to the classic team death match of Autobot versus Decepticon. So as others have already mentioned, gameplay mechanics and transforming in and out of combat to survive and encounter an enemy player is everything. Gearing up and selecting the gear you think would be best for a fight, hiding behind a wall only to find out they are right behind you, using the world to your advantage. One thing on my wish list is to have destructible environments, very similar to Battlefield games. On Earth, on, on Earth, Transformers should be able to slowly bring down a building or skyscraper to use fallen environments to their advantage, paving a path to victory. From the leaked synopsis of the storyline and game design for Transformers Online, we can only assume we will be able to drive to various locations on Earth, or at least game maps on Earth. For now, anyway. So share with me in the comment section down below what you want as a dream of to have or vision for a new Transformers game to be like. With that being said, let's leave this topic for another time and talk about some juicy information that could impact what happens with, with Transformers Online in the near future.
Well, it has been a while since we last heard any brand new Transformers online information or news. Guys, we had some brand new insider information to share with each and every one of you guys. But before that, uh, I just had to say that <laughs> I have redone this video so many times over the last few days. Uh, it ended up going for like 28 minutes, so I'll try to keep this short and sweet for you guys as we discuss this information. All right, let's go into these. So here we are on TFW 2005 forums. For those of you who have not already seen it already over the last few days, uh, during our Certain Affinity, uh, uh, our Transformers Online by Certain Affinity forum post on TFW 2005, uh, we had someone come in, a moderator and new staff of the forums, and they had to say this. Well, I was just about to post something and notice the coincidence of the current discussion going on here, smiley face. Anyway, the news I'm trying to say is this. A lot of key people working on the Certain Affinity Transformers project have moved on to other projects or companies. At least, that's what I heard from a good friend anyway. All right. Let's park the brakes right here. So Silver Optimus, for those of you guys who do not know, he is very well known. And not only that, he has a lot of insider connections throughout the Transformers community. So um, he basically has a lot of uh, insider leaking information and he, he basically has a lot of connections to be able to get in contact with people and stuff like that, that have information on things that are going on. And well, well, what do you know? He comes and he comments and uh, he shares this information with us. So what his friend had to say, now I, I contacted him also directly, but uh, he said that his friend wants to stay anonymous for the time being, but he's gonna continue to look into this for, for now anyway, um, from when I contacted him. So uh, if there any is any new, brand new information, we're gonna have to wait at least until more information comes in. But for the time being, let's break down what he had to say. So this is in his opinion. He says, this indicates two things, he believes. Transformers MMO project is nearing its completion and the staff have been de-scoped to smaller tasks or maintenance duties. Number two, the project is in development hell. The last thing that I had to say is, I hope it's outcome number one since several years worth of effort went into this. All right, so let's backtrack here. So we're gonna break down what he had to say. So what he originally said is that many people of the project have moved on to other projects or companies. Now, it's highly unlikely that people have moved on to other companies, whether as to what he means is they have moved on to other projects. So what he means by that is basically people uh, or developers have started to work on other projects that are ongoing. So as we know, they've previously worked on Bioshock and that may have been canceled on their end, but it's still ongoing with Cloud Chamber Studios. Uh, with many different developers that were under Ken Levine's um, hat. But anyway, um, what I'm trying to say is that there's also a game called Halo Infinite, which Certain Infinity is also working on alongside 343 Industries or Studios. Uh, and that game is still ongoing in development. So Certain Infinity is co-helping uh, 343 to develop Halo Infinite. So that's another project that they still have to work on. As well as if you guys didn't hear, they also have announced that they're working on a brand new original IP for specifically within their company. So like I said, there's lots of avenues that certain affinity could be going on right now that is not the way a lot of you may think. <laughs> so here's, I'm gonna break down what I think. I think that Certain Affinity is preparing to market Transformers online. Now, sure, you're probably thinking right now, oh, uh, Frosty, you're probably just thinking that, oh, uh, you've got high hopes and you, you've got the hype within you and all this stuff, and you're just saying that just because you wanna keep the hope alive and all that stuff. Well, yes and no. Um, what I'm trying to say is that Certain Affinity is preparing to market because there has been so much investment and so much um, connections with Liu Technologies for them to continuously develop this game. If not for Liu Technologies to have their flag, their new flagship game, 
announced. <laughs> so basically, Certain Affinity is preparing big time, I think, for them to announce Transformers Online. And if you guys don't see it, then I, I don't know what could really be going on here. Honestly, while we may have seen a lot of things in the past of COVID uh, making uh, companies not be able to develop their game as quickly and things like that, sure, that's true. But from what Certain Affinity has been saying, ever since Splash Damage has stepped in uh, and has started to help Certain Affinity, their game has continuously gone on course even during while COVID was stopping a lot of companies from developing their games. And that's what I'm trying to say here is that I think that Certain Affinity has been developing their game on a steady course that their game is ready to at least take a load off from development while they continuously help other companies develop like Halo Infinite. Uh, and what I'm trying to say is that they could be preparing for marketing, they could be preparing a cinematic trailer, whether that's CGI or in-game uh, cinematic trailer. Just announcing the game, I think that's what they're preparing for. And I think that's what you guys should also believe. Now, number two, Silver Optimus believes that the project is in development hell. Now, whether or not he's actually been keeping up with the information, I'm sure maybe he has, but we don't know for sure. And you guys, regardless of this brand new information, I think you guys should still take this with a grain of salt. Um, because not only we don't know if this is official, like the other information that I've already provided with you, this could just be a rumor and we don't know what's actually going on because we don't have any official contact. This entire time we haven't had any official contacts with anyone from Certain Affinity or anyone that's under the project for the Transformers project. We know it exists, we know it's in development, and it's within their three and a half year, well, three to five year scope, but the game has currently been in development for at least three and a half years. So for those of you who have been following me and have been continuously watching this information unfold, you guys will know that there's been so much money poured into this project. And we know that Lord of the Rings was also canceled by Liu Technologies. So there's a lot of things to take into factor here, ladies and gentlemen. And I just, I, I can't put it any way better by saying that I personally believe with how much investment has gone into this project, with how much uh, notice the Transformers community has seen on this and the continuous updates uh, publicly through the financial statements for uh, Liu Technologies, we have seen so much information brought to us, whether or not, whether that <laughs> hasn't really been for the public eye, even though it was for their investors originally, uh, that I think this project is going to be a big hit. And I think that certain affinity is only going to continue, at least until closed beta testing. Um, I think while they may move, they may be moving on to other projects to help other companies. They could be sitting on their closed beta testing, and who knows? They may be doing uh, small indoors closed beta testing before they actually reveal to us later in the year for public closed beta testing. Uh, so that's what I think so far. And um, while there's a very low chance that there is a project development delay, um, it could be the case. But as some of you may know that there is a current shutdown going on within my province and it could affect the Toronto studio for certain affinity uh, compared to the Texas studio. Uh, so anyway, we'll see what happens. And that's what uh, I have to say thus far on this news. So tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. Uh, so let's move on to Liu Technologies themselves. Uh, for those of you who haven't really been uh, following, uh, Liu Technologies has been the main provider at least or the main website where I have been getting a lot of the leaked information for Transformers Online through their not only their financial statements, but also through back doors that they haven't closed off. Now, they have since upped their security with 403, not 404, where a page is not found. 403 means basically you cannot access the site because uh, security restrictions, uh, because they've got it closed on their server. Uh, so originally they had backdoors to where things were public and then it became uh, 
more secure, basically. So uh, we gained information like, for example, in the top right hand corner of your screen, you'll be able to go and check out my video on the game design made back in 2017 uh, that we recently found in 2020 for Transformers Online's original game design. Now that has since probably changed, but it gives us an idea. It gives us a vision as to what to expect for certain affinities vision for their Transformers game. Uh, but ever since Liu Technologies' official website has closed down, uh, it has really put a damper on things for being able to get brand new information. So as you all know, Tencent Games has bought out Liu Technologies, which Liu Technologies in, is in contract with Hasbro Entertainment to outsource to certain affinity to develop Transformers Online. Now, while that is very confusing, because Tencent Games originally had a game called Transformers Online, which shut down in February of 2020, a lot of people in the community that have not been following this information have been, have been getting very confused about whether or not this is Tencent's game or if this is Certain Affinity's game. So for those of you that don't know, Certain Affinity has been developing Transformers Online since late October of 2017. Tencent Games was also developing a Chinese specific game in their country called Transformers Online as well, which is super confusing, but it never came to the West. It was never really released beyond beta testing. Uh, and it is not the game that Certain Affinity is developing. So just keep that in mind. And it's very confusing because Tencent Games bought out Liu Technologies. Uh, so just keep that in mind. It's very confusing, but hopefully I broke that down easy enough for you guys. Anyway, to keep this short and sweet, guys, uh, I just wanted to say that while we do not see E3 on the official listing for uh, E3 2021, uh, there is a very high possibility that they are at other studios or they're behind closed doors. And maybe, I mean, it's it's only May and we don't know if that's the official full roster that we saw for uh, E3 2021 to see all the listing of all the, uh, the companies going to be attending E3. Uh, but if they're not at E3, I personally think that they could be hiding behind PlayStation Store. While I'm not trying to say, hold on, hold on, I'm not trying to say that it's an exclusive to a specific console. All I'm trying to say is that I think Transformers Online could be announced under the bolstered roster of games to showcase at specific events, such as PlayStation event or Xbox event. Now, while Xbox and Nintendo are seen at E3, PlayStation has their own event specifically off the books. And like Final Fantasy 16, for example, we had no idea that game was gonna be announced until the official day of them revealing PlayStation 5. So what I'm trying to say is that the game could very well be uh, in behind PlayStation and uh, they could be hiding it, even though it's going to be on like PC, PlayStation and Xbox. Uh, so for the, from what I'm trying to say is that uh, even the, the statistics that I found uh, recently from uh, a, uh, a poll that was recently done upon developers that 58% uh, prefer PC uh, for PlayStation. It's like 44%. It's like 30 something percent for Xbox and then Nintendo and then uh, other uh, consoles or, or, or places like Stadia and, and, and other cloud services. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that it seems like because PlayStation is such a popular console to go for this year, uh, at least for the next generation of consoles, uh, it's going to be continuing for a very long time. And I think that with PlayStation um, having so much investment, like, for example, when they just bought out Discord, um, or they, they have a partnership with Discord, is what I'm trying to say is PlayStation has been investing in a lot of games and companies, and I think Certain Affinity could very well be behind PlayStation's event. And we'll have to wait and see. Um, I do not think that they will be at Tencent's uh, specific event because the contract is with uh, Liu Technologies and Certain Affinity. So we'll have to see what happens going forward. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, um, I just wanted to say, keep the hope alive, keep the hype alive, and um, don't set too high of expectations. What I think is that for... For Transformers Online, I personally believe that 
it is still coming and i think they are preparing and until we hear otherwise from reliable sources that the can that the project is canceled i think that you guys should still keep the hope alive and still keep on keeping the hype for transformers online all right that's all I have to say for this video. I hope it wasn't too long compared to when I've made a 28 minute long video. Uh, but uh, I do hope that you guys continue and I hope this information was very uh, reliable and hopefully you guys will continue to support my channel. If you, if this is the kind of content you guys are looking for, I plan on doing walkthroughs, guides, and many other things related to Transformers Online as we get closer and closer to its release date. It's within its three to five year window and I have no uh, no worries personally, in my opinion, that uh, Transformers Online will be announced sometime this year. Uh, so thank you all for watching. And of course, stay frosty, everyone.